On CBS's Face the Nation, House Republican leader John Boehner sounded like he was digging in his heels. Uh, I just think that if we're going to extend the tax cuts for some Americans, why don't we extend these tax, current tax rates to all Americans? For months, Boehner, likely to become Speaker of the House if Republicans win control, has argued that the Bush tax cuts, set to expire at the end of this year, should be extended for everyone, including the wealthiest Americans. But after he was pressed repeatedly by Bob Schieffer, Boehner appeared to bend, conceding that he may have to accept an extension only for the middle class. If the only option I have uh, is to vote for uh, some of those tax uh, reductions, uh, I'll vote for it. Boehner said he still wants all the tax cuts extended, but if he is forced to compromise, that More would be a right. victory for President Obama, who insists the tax cuts should be extended only for couples making less than $250,000 a year and individuals making less than $200,000. Anyone making more than that would see their tax rates rise. The president's populist appeal has become a centerpiece of his recent campaign attacks on Republicans. And what I've got is the Republicans holding middle-class tax relief hostage because they're insisting we've got to give tax relief to millionaires and billionaires. The new chairman of the president's Council of Economic Advisors says now that compromise on tax cuts is on the table, Congress should move quickly. If he's truly saying that we can, as the president called for, get a broad consensus to extend the middle-class tax cuts, we should do it. Despite today's talk of compromise, any final deal on the Bush tax cuts might have to wait until after Election Day, when Congress returns to town for what's expected to be a contentious lame duck session. Russ? Chip Reed at the White House. Thank you.